Hey YouTubers, it's Rad Fox here, and uh, this weekend I took the Golf R to the track to test out the Stage 2 tune with the USP 3 inch downpipe. Okay, so it actually went really well. I, I was hoping for more, uh, but uh, I got about uh, three tenths of a second improvement, and that's pretty much what was on APR's website. Now, why did I expect more? Why was I thinking that? And that and the reason why is because I had ran the Stage 1 tune with the three inch downpipe. Um, the USB downpipe without getting the stage 2 flash and so I contacted APR about this and they basically said do not run the car do not run a stage one tune with a downpipe um, a high flow downpipe installed on the car they said that the boost will increase and uh, do the volumetric efficiencies the boost will increase and the airflow will increase and a lean condition can result that will and can possibly damage the engine so this is not a good thing. So I put up a warning um, in my uh, Dynalicious run um, that I just posted up saying don't do this because your engine could be damaged. Um, I don't think my engine has been damaged. I believe it's harder to actually um, cause that type of damage to get enough um, um, combustion temperatures to actually melt anything at this elevation with this particular tune. Um, I, it might, might have been right on the edge, but I bet you if I would have drove down to say sea level, and done the same thing, uh, probably would have melted something. Um, I've melted pistons before in a turbo eclipse um, where I had it leaned out very lean and I had it here at this elevation and there was never any engine damage and then I went down to Firebird uh, Dragway down in Phoenix and on my first run, on my first pass, I actually liquefied the pistons. They melted right back down in the block. So um, I'm pretty sure I haven't damaged this engine but please uh, don't try this at home. Basically, don't do this. Don't drive around hot rodding the stage one tune um, with a high flow downpipe on your car. But as you saw from that Dynalicious run, um, my car, according to Dynalicious, ran a 12-12. So, I mean, the car was absolutely making ridiculous power, but it was very lean, dangerous power. So I don't want that. I don't want to risk melting. Uh, damaging you know and having to rebuild my engine this soon for something stupid like that so please again don't uh, run your stage one tune with uh, a high flow downpipe um, you need to get the stage two flash to go with it so after of course I got the stage two flash you know I was waiting for my appointment and that's where I you know I had to wait over the weekend and uh, I got my flash on a Tuesday. I tried to get it on Monday, but they were too busy, so I got it on a Tuesday. And so I drove it around uh, what I guess you'd say like a little bit of Friday, maybe a little bit Friday night, I think, and Saturday, Sunday, and some Monday, and then a little bit into Tuesday. But um, I definitely did do some hard uh, pulls with it. And um, again, I think I'm probably one of the lucky ones, again, because of the elevation here, there's not much air. So, uh, um, like I said, I don't think I damaged anything. But again, back to the times I actually uh, got here at the track. Uh, my new best time is a 12.56. Uh, I did four runs, and you'll see them here in the uh, videos. And um, they were all uh, pretty fun, pretty good. I, my reaction times were pretty crappy. I really wasn't trying to do anything amazing with my reaction times. But uh, um, and you'll see, I probably overreact on. Uh, I believe it was the, the last run that I did racing a Corvette because I couldn't believe uh, that I actually uh, pulled past him. But it turned out he was one of the slower Corvettes that were out there that day. So it was probably, I was probably overexcited for nothing. But, uh, but still, if you listen really close to the people talking in the stands when the camera's in the stands, it's pretty funny because <laughs> you're going to hear him saying like, hey, he's going he's gonna to beat that vet. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they're like, who, what, that Volkswagen? <laughs> so uh, it's pretty funny. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it, but you have to really listen real close to hear those uh, details in the video. But um, I could have done probably a lot more runs, but I didn't want to beat up on my car. There was a lot of like um, uh, sticky rubber remnants all on the track uh, when I went. And I tried um, actually uh, doing a run with the traction control completely disabled, which I had never done before with holding the, the uh, ES, ESC button for the long pause. Um, my previous runs with stage one, I had only just uh, did the tap on the ESC button. So that's basically just uh, removing the anti-slip regulation or whatever they want to call it. Um, but um, 
I did that. I did the complete ESC off, and then I did complete ESC on, and then I did uh, two runs with the uh, just the uh, anti-slip regulation uh, off with just the you know the single tap, um, and I believe those are the best runs. So, you know, thinking back to that Dynalicious run, you know, you heard it in the video uh, when it ran the 1212s um, that it was burning out like crazy and you heard it bark the tires, you know, burn out into second and you heard it bark the tires in third. Well, when I was at the drag strip running a 1256, the car didn't do that. So, I mean, it was hopping, you know, um, on all that rubber crap on the, on the drag strip, but um, um, I really didn't get those burnouts. So. You know, maybe that's just because there's better traction, or I, I'm sort of thinking it's because there's obviously less power, um, you know, because I wasn't running as lean as I was on that uh, stage one tune. This is with the stock intercooler, and I believe APR has stated that to gain the uh, advertised power from the stage two tune, that you need to have um, a uh, increased um, size of, um, intercooler. So I will be doing that here soon. Um, it's still a little cool here. Um, and most of the videos that I've shot or most of the time when I've been driving around it's been 40, 50, 60 degrees. So I haven't been too concerned, but maybe that played into um, the, rep the repeated runs at the drag strip. I don't know. Um, one of the things now that I'm seriously considering is to lower my rotating mass on my car. So I've been looking at some different uh, wheels that are out in the market, different tires, and for me to justify the expense of doing that though, because in most cases, really good rubber and pretty decent wheels, I mean, you're talking, you know, at least over $2,000 um, for something like that. Um, for me to justify that, I've got to have a really good weight drop. Um, I'm thinking that I at least need five pounds per wheel, but if I can do better than that, um, I know that there's wheel tire combinations that I can get that'll probably drop nine pounds per wheel, and that's huge on an all-wheel drive car. That should make a lot of difference. I don't really know what that'll translate into a quarter mile time, but um, definitely that's uh, something I'm looking at. Um, I also, I know that there's uh, two-piece rotors that you can get that will drop five pounds per wheel. So, I mean, if I went a two-piece rotor and then a lighter wheel and tire combination, um, I could possibly drop 14 or 15 pounds per wheel and again I think that's very very significant so I don't know we, I might be thinking that's my next thing to do after the intercooler uh, is to do a wheel and tire uh, combo uh, on the car so we'll see we'll see I, I have to see if I can find a deal on what I'm looking for and make sure all the sizes look right because I don't really want to lower the car I don't want the tire sticking out anymore um, you know maybe a teeny little bit but I don't want to mess with the ride quality or, or the, um, the, ride, um, the ride control or the ride stability or any of that kind of stuff. So there were some interesting cars at the track. Uh, when, we, when I got out there, I got out there when the track was opening and there looked like there was a car club or some private people that had rented the track for the first part of the morning because they wouldn't let us in. And there was a bunch of Porsches, Vipers, Corvettes. Um, there was a Tesla out there as well. Um, I think it's the, probably was a P90 or something like that, the all-wheel drive car that you can put in the insane mode uh, or something like that, called something like the insane mode. You should look it up and see. Um, I just barely just Googled it today, but um, I didn't really know what the car was. I mean, I knew it was a Tesla, but they were announcing that it was an all-wheel drive Tesla and it was the sedan, but I didn't think they had, they made a sedan that was this fast. The thing was running. 11.55s consistently, um, just amazing takeoff, and that's just you know an amazing time for up here. Now there was um, a Z06 Corvette that was smoking that, and then there was a Porsche. Um, it was like a Carrera S or something, 911 or something, and it was probably modified because um, it was running. Uh, I believe it was running like 11.0s or something like that. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, that was beating everything. There was a Hellcat. Uh, there was a car that, there was a Chevelle that had big slicks on it or had big Hoosiers on it. Um, it didn't have any badges on it, so they had debadged it, but it was running like it was a Hellcat. Um, 11, 11 fours, I think, 
11 threes. I think I've captured some of that in the video here. So again, um, if you want to check out any of those other cars, um, at least the ones I captured, wait till the end of, of my runs and then I'll have a, a little section back there for you to check out the other cars and see um, what they were doing out here on the track. It was pretty impressive. Uh, I think that's it, so enjoy the video. down that was fucking sweet Let's see here oh I do yeah. why what was it okay all right dude thanks man I got my helmet Wearing a helmet. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Oh, 1276. Yeah, I got my helmet. I, don't, right. I wore it. Just I took it off. It. I yeah. see. Okay. Yeah, baby. Twelve, five, six. Right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Corvette. Fuck yeah. All right. Shit. <laughs> okay, we beat, we beat the other record. So it looks like just the ASR needs to be turned off and I'm getting some optimal times here. Shit. All right, I'm gonna drive around and cool off some more. All right, do you see that? What'd you do? 1256. Dude, that is <laughs> sick. That is Very so good, sick. Man. <laughs> What's up, man? You beat my damn Camaro, man. <laughs> this thing runs fucking 12.6. How in the fuck? I just ran 12.56. I know you're ridiculous, dude. What the fuck? It's, it's tuned. It's tuned, man. It's all wheel drive, huh? Yeah. That helps a lot, man. You're ridiculous, man. man. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> I'm going to sell my car because you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if I can jump this Corvette. I don't know if I'll bang, spank him or not, but. I saw that shit, right? All right, guys, let's hope. Let's hope this is a uh, better than a twelve five six, right? Oh man! They got me. All right, cool. Thanks. A twelve six four. Damn. One hundred and seven. This car is so consistent. Every fucking time, one hundred and seven miles per hour. Damn. Twelve six four though.
so now it's going against a, hot, a real hot rod here, a real this he's got slicks on dude the bruisers man shit who's gonna win Say on the little badge. Yeah, right there on the vent. It says right there. See it? Right there. It's red. It's on the vent by the front wheel. Can't see it. It's probably it's Z06 is what it says. So Z06 is the last one.
wheels up, man. Ten nine eight. Too. I mean, it looks but clean. No, but he runs like 12 twos or 12 threes or something. Like that. <laughs> Oh, I would have got him there. Yeah, he had a bad launch, though. Didn't you see that? Yeah, it was all like lurching it. and shit. I said it. something but we already know that that yellow one's fast yeah yeah I think so see the badge in the back one Top down, so my hair can't blow. Don't they wish? Let's see. Oh, 
He doesn't have to have his window up? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, here we go. Hey, shit. Poor guy. They, probably, they don't even make him wear a seatbelt. <laughs> yeah. No, it's funny. Yeah. A GTR, dude. Same. 